Hello, uh, people of the internet. Um, it's me, my face. And before I start this review, um, it's been a while since I do my face, and it's been a while. And so, why not? I'll do my face, and it's been a while. And and yes, I know if you you see the thumbnail as usual. I and yes, this is absolutely familiar to you. That it was the video which do you click in the video ship it. So uh yeah. And the reason why I'm doing my face it's because of YouTube copyright claim. And second, because I tried so hard with the edits and type of stuff, I how I have a hard time with making edits in the video. So I have to sh camera for you guys and wanna talk about this movie. So I just got home seeing the Super Mario Bros. movie, and, and I gotta say, this is, this is the least best animation movie in all time, and this is my least favorite movie in 2023, and it's gonna be hilarious movie ever seen in my life. It's, it's, it's funny, hilarious, and there's nothing else, and still, it's a little bit complicated, but at the most part, it gets a lot of a lot of the things I want to talk about. So there's so much going on. There's a lot going on here, but it's a little bit of critic say that a lot of people are starting to like dislike the movie or something like that. But still, it gets critic say that 55% and it's a little bit Rotten Tomatoes scores and it's a little bit it's a little bit off notch and it just makes perfect no sense at all that it doesn't mean allowed us to do is that people are gonna say like it's not even uh, known as real gay movie haters going on towards more like that for some reason not only that but if you a fan of the show or the game it's called last of us if you haven't seen the show yet i haven't watched it or played the game for somehow people say people say liked it or somehow and why but why by why this movie super Mario bros movie is kind of been a little bit bad but believe it or not it gets some more information about you you know mission studio somehow but it's kind of a little bit so what do we begin this movie um so what do we get this movie um the story is about Mario, voiced by Puss Kratt, Stop Evil Bowser, voiced by Jack Black, and Save Luigi, voiced by, you know, Johnny Dave. And Johnny Dave and Puss Kratt, a little bit reminds me of the Lego movie. Um, this is a little bit reminds me of the Lego movie of um, em Emmett and Benny. And I kind of a little bit fine with the cast members, the famous cast members. And it's a little bit difficult and shipping. But here's the thing. There's, there's so much references in every single story and every single plot, plot and story, and the story makes sense, but because, and I said it in the, in the reaction to the Fisher trailer, and I said that, I said that Luigi being captured instead of Peach, and I regret that the animation doing that for some reason, and it just keep, keeps, you know, doing all this type of stuff and stupid stuff, I don't know, but Still, it's fine. It's not that, but it's it's not okay at shipping. It's just the audience. It's a little bit fine with the script, but the story makes sense. And this movie is a origin story. And I'm not sure, but there's so much there's so much references from from from. There's so much references from the game, from the movie, and also there's a lot of Easter eggs that it's it's everybody knows that if from the film, but also this downtime. Still, it just a little bit knows about this film, but it the plot and just keeps going and going until then, and somehow things move into it. Um, I might say like Mario and Luigi, you know the cast members of this one. First guy, Johnny Dave. I might say I kind of a little bit be fine of it. Jack Black and that Donkey Kong thing looks kind of good still. And Toad 
and the rest of the movie was kind of good. And I have a great time. And it's kind of funny, hilarious. But yes, I'm a huge fan of the Mario, so uh, yeah. So, where's this gonna be the animation? The animation is kind of good. I really like the animation. It was kind of a little bit good to, you know, it's kind of good for the CGI and etc. And I regret really the animation doing so well for that movie the budget at this time and the score it's excellent and I really like the score very much and I love the score and I like everything in this movie so uh it's a little bit good way it should have been now let's move on to you know now let's move on to spoilers now so if you haven't seen the movie yet skip to this time frame to avoid them and uh yeah so skip at this time frame and in three two one among us so I'm gonna say with the climax at the end of the movie is that is that <laughs> gotta say it's kind of cringe and it might say a funny um said that the Bowser song about peach and peach and peach that song is so so weird it's so you know and then and then the movie out to the climax which is how that that the whole thing just gets keeps going until then but it and now Mario save a Ouija, then and then it then save the day, but then Bowser just keep doing this, and then and then and then all the rest of the gang just just sucked. Not just the thing for chapter chap for Fortnite chapter one season X that event I won't tell you, but no they they transported back into the island, and then and then Bowser and the rest of the gang are. On in this island, and then, and then, the, and then that's basically it. And now, Bio is now Bowser's been defeated, and and also Bio Luigi doing type of stuff. And then that's the movie ends, and that's basically it. Now there's only two post credit scenes that it's shipping. Um, there's like well, we have one scene, of course. I don't know. There's only one scene, there's the same scene, but it's different, that it's a little bit funny. And then, there's one last post credit scene, there's another one, which is a, uh, I don't know, a Yoshi egg, which will lead us to a, this is will lead us to a sequel. And I'm not sure if we're getting a sequel, but... It's a little bit difficult for the sequel, and I guess I'm looking forward to that sequel, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen next, but you see, you see. So, in conclusion, I might say this movie is kind of a little bit good, and I have a great time with this movie, and after all these bad animation movies we got, it's terrible movies. <laughs> Terrible, terrible movies, like such as uh, Spickleby 2, 3, Minions, the first one, Secret Life of Pets, you know, and Grinch, and that's about it. Six, and the thing, and you know, and also, yeah, that's basically it, except for the Warax and then the Spickleby 1, and then. The Wise Guru. The Wise Guru is a fine movie, and I give it a 7 out of 10. But overall, I have a great time with this movie, and you should definitely go watch it. If you're a fan of the Super Mario franchises, if you're a fan of the Super Mario games, you should, you should definitely go check it out. It's funny, hilarious, and that's basically it. So, uh, so I will give the Super Mario Bros. movie as the same rating as John Wick Chapter 4. A 9 out of 10 is the best film, and you definitely go watch. It's a funny movie, but as a result, you hit me right here, just the critics. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what is going to happen, but yeah, and that's basically it. That's all for me now. And before I end this video, I got some two reasons. One, because last Monday, that's a, I went to the game, baseball game. Last Monday, it was kind of fun. Second, yes, my camera's glitching. I'm sorry, we apologize for that camera. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, still, it's a little bit, 
it, it should be. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I will talk to y'all later, and, uh, and, uh, it's a little bit difficult, but it should be. But believe it or not, I'm gonna wrap these up here. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I'll see you later, and, uh, talk to y'all later. And, yeah, you know. And also, yes, my actual final thoughts of the Beast of Freak series, uh, that one will be tomorrow. Because, why not? And, and I will be doing my live stream of it tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. So, uh, and yeah. And also, one last thing. I just want a big shout out. I just want a big shout out for the every single thing. But, I gotta say. I'm gonna say, if you're watching this, I just want a big shout out to you, to you. I will be done with it. Go check out his video. Link is in the description. And uh, big shout out to this guy right here. And he makes great episodes. And I have a great time. It's just definitely go watch th this series. It's kind of, kind of a little bit a uh, sad or drama-ish thing. And I have a great time with that one. It's kind of sad. It really is. And the story makes sense. And that's basically it. But it's not. But I'm okay with it. But. And I'm looking forward to his, his episodes. For like. It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> and for me. It's gonna take me a long time. So uh. i glad I joined it. So uh. Yay. So uh. Yeah. Big shout out to you. If you're watching this. Hope you understand. And uh. I'm looking forward to your episodes, etc. I'm very excited for, cannot wait to see more series to come. That's all for me now. I will talk to you later and, uh, see you later and then, see you later and then, um, or tomorrow, I don't know. Or, so like that. And also, happy Easter. So, uh, yeah. Peace out. Goodbye.